Hello, my name is Elon Blast, and I'm here with a new truck for the start of a new series called Impossible Halls. Um, this one, this hall is probably going to be slightly less impossible than some of them. But that's not to say it's not going to be difficult. There's definitely going to be some scraping. So, basically, I already did a Technically, the first Impossible Halls video, borrowing my friend Bronco's truck, Luna. Pulling, I think, 12 other trucks along a twisty road in New Mexico. This time, I'm here in Italy. Right now, I'm sitting in Parma. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. I'm going to follow this road here. Up to this granite quarry. I think it's granite. Rock quarry. Um, so you can just pretend whatever is in there that a rock quarry might need. I don't know. Six box trailers to the quarry. Very twisty road. It gets very skinny up around here. And we're going to see what we can do with it. Got a truck here, pretty good for the job. Her name is Severin. Severin. That's S E V E R I N. Spending a lot of time on a name for a truck, but anyway, in a video game. Obviously, 8x6 chassis. Extra fuel tank on the back, so she holds a lot of fuel. I'll talk about her more as we get rolling. Uh, the Volvo itself, the cab and everything is not my mod. I didn't make the chassis either. The cab is obviously the Volvo VNR mod. Uh, I'll link that in the description. The chassis is from a Kenworth T660. If I can find it, I'll link that mod in the description too. I've had that mod for a while. Don't know how heavy this trip load is. Didn't think to check. I've got a custom built V8 engine. I say it's a V8, I mean, the mo there's no difference within the actual game, but as far as the lore for the truck goes, it's a V8. Running 995 horsepower. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it out of here properly. Twenty speed single stick manual transmission with two crawler gears. And the trailers are scraping. That's not good. I thought it'd get cut on the other end. I didn't think it was this one that was making any problems. I need a reverse crawler here. Push all of the trailers backwards. Not quite used to the 20 speed shift pattern yet. There we go. Oh, caught a little bit right at the end there. Probably looking at where I'm going. Be honest, such a big truck isn't necessarily the best thing for a job like this. Eh, boom. I 
can't even tell if I'm going to make it around that. I think I made it. Good. I was originally going to use one of the special cargo trailers for this trip, but as you'll see in a bit, this road, or this route, I should say, gets really narrow, and I couldn't find one that fit and was still difficult to pull. So I was like, well, instead of doing something wide, I'll have to do something long. I don't know what's up with the brakes. I actually just get through that without hanging any of them up. Wow, I think I gotta pat myself on the back for that one. <laughs> I always love looking at road trains. I imagine that if you were to live in this town, you would probably be staring out your window at the moment. Oops. So I am. Bring it down a little bit. Alright, Eveco, let's go. Bye, Eveco. <laughs> Alright, now we're getting into the interesting stuff. Police Ragini. Need to think of a better name for them. Police officers that drive Lamborghinis. I don't know. Try to ride the guardrail as much as possible through there. <laughs> this would be amazing to see from overhead. I cannot believe I made it through there. Honestly, like I would have loved to be able to have someone behind me watching the back of the train, watching the back of the train, because that must have looked awesome. Being able to get a good angle of that snaking around. I'm not a good enough of a video game driver to be able to get a good camera angle of that while also being the one in control of it. I do tend to think that I'm pretty decent at pulling multiple trailers, though. It may or may not be true, but I think I am. Best pony I know of it. Uh, I'm going to take this moment to say I am I have not done everything I want to do with this mod, uh, Severin. But you are going to be seeing a lot of her. Outside of the Impossible Hall series, I'm going to make her a regular 
Well, first of all, if anyone doesn't know, my friend Bronco writes fan fictions, and the last few months or so, I have been acting as his editor. More recently, I decided to try writing some of them myself. And his most current series follows his OC and my OC as they work together for Steel Wheels Trucking. Hence the name on the side of the truck. And I am in the middle of writing a story in which Zenon actually gets the real version of Sever. And the real version is not going to say impossible hauls across the side, but just Sever. So I'm going to make that paint job for single player challenges. So then it'll be the real Luna versus the real Severn, basically. Altivo's being left out of those because he's pretty much the same on single player and multiplayer, so. Okay, seriously, there is something off with the brakes. I'm thinking maybe another mod that I have on is with that. Ooh, that's a bad place to meet a car. Yep. I thought I'd missed him. I had not. Oh! Oh, that's weird. Oh, being able to look out the window and seeing your own trailer is so weird. I'm gonna need the crawler here, I think. Picking up some dust. <laughs> Who needs roads? I'll just climb over the hill. Yes. And that's why I have the 20 plus 2. Couldn't have done that with Luna. Though she does have more power. Probably about even herself out. In the long run. Pulling, bounce them along the dirt. There we go. Let it be known that I do not condone the bouncing of cargo along dirt. But for the sake of pulling six trailers down a very twisty road, bounce them along the dirt. You're gonna want to sit right over there, big truck, because you don't not want to tangle with me. I will win. On many accounts. I hope this audio is okay. My mic's kind of behind my mouth, I just noticed. Oh, I'm also going to say, um, both the T660 I got the 8x4 chassis from, and the actual, dang these brakes, and the actual Volvo are American Truck Simulator mods. After I made Severn, I ported her over DPS2 myself. Eh, the tunnel's over there, I'm going to have to take it the long way around. I don't see this ending well. Oh, just about made it around the traffic circle. I was afraid of cutting the corner. I didn't know if all the trailers were going to get through into the tunnel properly.
that's one of the that's one of the skinny areas. I couldn't get anything that was especially ow. That's not break throughable. Honestly, that might have helped me in the long run. Can't get anything that has warning flags on it down at the bottom through that. I am going to scrape all of these trailers all over that guardrail. Honestly, with that sign not being destructible, I don't even know if I would have been able to get it through there. Scraping, scraping, scraping trailers. That ran out of uh, lines again. I've gotten worse at that. There we go. Made it around the trimester pole. This is where it is good to have many powers. Oh, I hit the guardrail a little bit. Hit the guardrail a little bit more than I thought I did. Come on, Sev, up the hill. Now, there is an intersection coming up up here that is going to be very fun. I am probably going to scrape five of the six trailers along the wall up here. And I'm also going to hit that car. There it is. <laughs> Probably going to hit that truck too. I don't know. I might make it past the truck. Just make it past the truck. There you go. This is the... Jeez. Brakes. I mean, uh, not Jesus, but so something else. The brakes. Yeah, this is going to end badly. Let's do it! Okay. Hitbox is from the T660. It does not quite line up with this truck. The T6 has more of a nose on it. It is going to hang up so bad. Yes! I actually made it fast. Honestly, did not think I was going to. At least not on that run. Gonna scrape this guardrail too. This is where I was really worried about with the wide load. Honestly, just getting these in here through here is gonna be complicated. Crawlers engage. This is going a lot better than I expected it to, I'll be honest. Just imagining... By the time we get over here, only the first and second trailer would still have curtains side. The rest would just be flatbed with roofs. Might be able to shift up into gear now. Might have to shift back down out of gear now. Oh, 
hit the wall. I'm gonna have to look and see if I can steal the hitbox off another truck that matches this one better. This is where almost a thousand horsepower gets you. Deep into a mountain with six box trailers. <laughs> and actually still being able to pull. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to try that. Let's get to this little, the office up here, and we'll, we'll say that that's a victory. Oh. Restaurant? I assume that's what restaurant is. I mean, I guess if there's good business with the workers and all. Right. Well, we're going to say that that's a victory. I mean, I'm here. Uh. Jeez. I wouldn't have even been able to get a special cargo in there. Trailers would be too long with the self steering axle. Oh, where did the shirt go? Absolutely nowhere. It looks good anyway. This area, area, a little bit of the New England is coming up. This area is really cool looking, I think. I love the way this turned out. Ah, oh, dang it! I was hoping all these were connected. I'm gonna spawn my truck back here and drive up on. Setting. Oh, that's that done. Zenon Blast to Severin, happy in the next one.